everyone, Don here with Don's question of the day. Guys, welcome to Thursday's edition of DQOTD. Guys, remember this week we only have three questions because of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We didn't do a question for those days, and this is the second to the last uh, question of the week. So here we go, guys. So what is something that we love doing? Well, we love spying on other people, dropping in, listening to their conversations, right? I mean, it's human nature. We want to know what's up. We want to be in the know and know what befalls us or what might come true to us or be coming for us for survival purposes too, right? I mean, maybe it's not so much like so primal these days, but we want to know what the government's up to or what our neighbor's thinking about us or things like that, right? So I thought to myself, hmm, we could do a question about a room, a secret room, something that everybody's going to be having in their lives, um, like a bedroom or an office or something like that. So today's question, guys, is simply this. If you could drop in on any room in the world, um, what room would you, would you choose? And by dropping in, um, it just means sound. You'd be able to listen to what is going on in that room. So that was the question for today, guys. Let's hear your answers, see what you came up with. So we've got my daughter's room. I could get on board with that in a couple of few years, you know? Just making sure everything's going okay in there. <laughs> I'm watching you, Zoe. We've got my manager's office. Well, sure, a lot of us would like to drop in on, on the boss, see if he's talking about us or about other people, maybe. Hmm, gossip, anybody? We've got the kitchen, right? I mean, why not? Hear what the latest recipe is uh, from our friends. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a classroom, I had a teacher today say, I wanna drop in on a classroom. Uh, she didn't mention the age group or what type of class it would be, but I can see that, checking out what the kids are doing. <laughs> uh, we, uh, let's see, we got the Pope's room, uh, the Pope, the Catholic Pope. Let's see what's going on in, in, in his room, in his, in his office, if he has an office. I don't know what he has, but hey, he might be saying some interesting stuff. He's got a connection with the Lord, so that might be interesting too. Mom and Dad's room. Well, who, what kid on Christmas hasn't wanted to, you know, eavesdrop on Mom and Dad and see what kind of Christmas gifts, you know, they might be getting or, you know, what's what's going on? Are they thinking about grounding me because I didn't do my homework? You know, that kind of stuff. So I can totally see that. Um, I thought this one was kind of funny. And it is, uh, we got more than one uh, one vote for this too today. So um, former President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton's bedroom. Now what I thought was funny about this is I, I, I told those people, yeah, but uh, you don't expect to have them, you know, together talking together. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny. So there we go, guys. Uh, the situation room in an emergency slash crisis. That would be a good one to uh, investigate. Throne room of God. Um, that would be good, too. Um, kind of goes along with the Pope thing, maybe. So I don't know. Uh, I liked this one, and this might be my favorite one today. Um, dropping in on a newborn ho uh, hotel, newborn hospital room. So, like, where all the new babies come, they're they're all in their little, you know, clear um, cribs in the room, and you're just you're you got a mic up on on the top, and you can hear all the coos of the little babies, and you know the nurses singing to them or whatnot. I thought that was very cute, so. Kudos to that person. President Trump's bedroom, maybe. Um, might talk about secret things with his wife or something. There we go, guys. FBI van on the top most mission. So an FBI van is doing the most top secret mission in the United States. Let's drop in on that van and see what's going on. A rich person's panic room or their doomsday shelter. Maybe if the apocalypse is happening or if somebody's trying to break into their home, they're in their panic room, that would be interesting too, to hear that, that panic and maybe like, oh my gosh, they're gonna steal a bunch of stuff. That would be bad. How about dropping in on the Google company's conference room? Well, that's one I could get into. Maybe with Amazon too, that would be nice. Let's <laughs> see what the next trending thing will be. Uh, we've got Area 51. Let's drop in on their most secret room. 
um, if in fact they are hiding aliens or they know alien knowledge and stuff. Let's drop in on them, guys. My secretary's office, making sure she's doing her job. <laughs> and guys, we have the Netflix headquarters boardroom, seeing what the next new movie might be or the new uh, the newest show or this new season that's coming out or just them throwing around ideas and stuff. I thought that would be very interesting. So there we go, guys. Some of your suggestions for today. Interesting uh, results and really enjoyed it and learned some learned a few things, which I have mentioned that I always do with each and every question and video. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, then like it right now by pressing that thumbs up and uh, also subscribe to our channel. It would be very nice of you to do that. So hashtag DQOTD on Facebook. That's where you can answer Monday through Friday's question and participate and get your vote in for the results video. I'm done. Question everything, guys. We will see you in the next video. Friday's video. It's the weekend. Yes. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you like what you see here, you can subscribe to our channel by hitting that blue circle. Guys, you can also hit that notification bell so you'll know when we come out with a new video. Also check out these other videos that you might not have seen by us yet. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you.